For this task, we have red, green, and blue circles, squares, and triangles of different sizes, of different numbers. And we want only red circles and squares. And for the triangles, we'll take the green and the blues. So what we'll start off with is we need to split the colors out. So we want only the red and it doesn't matter what we pick on the other side because we want green and blue. Uh, the red will still have the blues because this will end up with the red and the blues and this will end up with the green and the blues. So we'll need to split that again so that we can filter out the blues. And what we will do from here is we, we will filter out the, the triangles. So red goes in there. We don't want the triangles, but we will take the other two. So that's the red bit. That should be the red bit done. And then what we will do is we want to do the kind of the opposite on this side. We will take another perceptron and we will take only the triangles and throw everything else out. There are enough items in here that this, this won't complete in time. And we just need to connect the green and the blue directly to the input there. Let's train it. And you can see this one is jamming. And the easiest way to solve that, and I've uh, done this before, is take a decision tree color, any, and any, and connect this up to there, and this up to there, and we will have another perceptron, which will do exactly the same thing. The easiest way to train this perceptron, however, is to just link it up directly. So we'll train that first, so it gets through that quicker, rather than having to train it more than once. Trained, so all we need to do now is link that back up, and this one can go there, this one can go there, and this perceptron does exactly the same thing as that one. So we'll take the triangles there, and we'll trash everything else. We don't need to train this anymore, so we'll just test run it. That one is only at 34%, and if you want to train that further, you can. It's not necessary, but it will be better, more accurate if you did it. You'll see that our expected accuracy is only 60%, which we've got 80%, so that's perfect.